How's it going today? I'm um, just doing a little, uh, kind of like a little tutorial little update for the Raspberry Pints tap list. I noticed when you look at the instructions, there are a couple bits that are a little outdated for the new uh, Raspbian operating system. Let's go to the Artpines installation. All right. Uh, delete the default Apache page. It says sudo rm and then slash var slash www slash index.html. Okay, so the file path is actually um, sudo rm slash var slash www slash html slash index.html to delete the uh, default Apache page. And that's going to be the path that you use whenever you see the uh, forward slash var forward slash www. www just add HTML to that file path. And that's all you need to do to successfully install the program. It's just that one more folder that you need to add into there. Um, I'm not sure if the people at Raspberry Pints know that or if they're using a different version of Raspbian, but uh, that's what worked for me. Prevent your Raspberry Pi from sleeping. I'll put the uh, disable screen blanking is uh, one that I had a hard time uh, getting to work. Followed all the instructions on here, and the screen still blanked out. So I will put up a screenshot of what worked for me info for this up here and this is the um, what worked for me the light DM configuration changing this x server dash command equals x dash s zero dash dpms that's the one that finally worked for me on my Raspberry Pi 3 so yeah give that a try if you're having problem with session linking um, I'm still not able to get it to boot up into kiosk mode when it's logging in, but that's not really a, a huge deal. I just uh, start up Chromium and then make it full screen. I have to resize it down to 90% zoom anyway, so like all the information will fit on the screen that I have. Because Raspberry Pi is set up for a 1080 uh, display, and the one I have is slightly less than that. Uh, it's an older you know, 4x3 format show you a little quick little video of it and um, yeah so I can't get it started actually boot up into the kiosk phone but um, it's really not a huge deal to start it up at any time that the I don't really reboot it that often so all I need to do is just press the monitor on and then it'll um, it's the tap display is right there so Hopefully that will help you out if you are setting up a Raspberry Pi's display, and I um, highly recommend that you do. It's just a pretty cool thing to have. And yeah, enjoy. See you next time.